Russia's unprovoked war on Ukraine is drawing near universal condemnation across Colorado today, where more than 11,000 people from Ukraine now live. Federal sanctions and actions are going to have the most teeth in this, but for what it's worth, Democratic Governor Jared Polis is offering to welcome any Ukrainian refugees, promising the state is not going to do business with Russian state-owned businesses. And he's also asking colleges and universities here to reconsider whether they should work with Russian interests. Supporters of Ukraine gathered at the state capitol in a show of support for that country under attack. Many of family members still living in Ukraine and have been watching the Russian invasion in horror. At today's gathering, we spoke with an attorney who went to law school to defend democracy. And we talked to a DU student who's having a tough time watching coverage of the fighting. I just sobbed for hours yesterday in my dorm, like, and all my friends just hugged me. It was terrifying, especially once the footage started coming in of the bombing. I hope that the our politicians uh, on the state, local, and uh, the country level, the president, um, really take this serious. Governor Polis says organizations in Colorado are ready to help resettle Ukrainian refugees, but that's a process that could take a long time. Lutheran Family Services Rocky Mountain says they're ready to receive any refugees from Ukraine who might eventually come through the U.S. resettlement program. Say that they have to go through an application process before they come here, and they know that that will take a lot of time. The organization has resettled Ukrainian refugees in the past, but that process has been months or years in the making. The nonprofit was expecting to welcome four Ukrainian refugees families in the next few weeks. They say that may not be happening now based on current events. Lutheran Family Services told us that while people looked to the Afghan evacuation and resettlement, that was really not the norm in terms of these processes. It'll be up to the U.S. State Department to determine what happens with Ukrainians. Colorado's elected leaders in Washington were divided pretty cleanly on party lines in their response to the Russian invasion. The Democrats blamed the Russians. The Republicans blamed the Democrats. And the Colorado Republican Party singled out Democratic Senator Michael Bennett specifically as being partially to blame for the Russian invasion because he opposed Russian sanctions. Bennett today called for a united American response. Putin's assault on Ukraine is an assault on all of us and it's assault on democracy. It's a reminder why it's so important for us to pull together as a country. Republican representatives Ken Buck and Lauren Boebert called for the United States to produce more oil and gas in reaction to the Russian invasion. And some far-right Republican figures with grassroots followings in Colorado came out and said they stood with Russia.